Where's my money? Where? Hey, what's up? It's Rihanna. I'm wearing Rihanna's look from Harper's Bazaar China. Her cover that she released a more than a couple weeks ago. I don't know where you actually would wear this out, but I'm kind of like digging these eyebrows a lot. Like this video if you want me to shave my eyebrows off. Give me, I have no makeup. Um, so before we even do any foundation, first thing is that we're going to block the brows. Unless you have no eyebrows already or you have um, slanted angular brows, then lucky you, you don't have to do this step at all. Before you even apply on the glue stick. Yes, we're gonna use a glue stick. Just gonna get a little bit of rubbing alcohol. Make sure you don't get this in your eye. I'm just gonna rub off the natural oils that are around. <coughs> Woo! That are around the um, the brows. Try not to inhale the vapors of the alcohol, or you might die. Just joking, you won't die, but really, just try to be careful about that. Here, I'm using an uhu or yuhu or whatever, the yellow glue stick. I'm not gonna block out the entire brow. I'm just gonna add the glue stick literally just at the end. And if you're confused as to which part you're going to be um, gluing down, look at where your arch is. This lining is so unforgiving. Like I thought I looked like a decent human being during the daytime, I guess not. I'm using a powder puff and I'm going to squish, squish, squish. So once the first layer has been flattened down with the powder, I'm just going to add a second layer of glue stick and um, setting it with powder again just because I felt like it needed to be a little bit smoother. If your brows are thicker, you might need a third or fourth coat. Um, so once the powder and glue is all dried, I'm just patting over some concealer. The coverage on it's pretty like moderate to full. Look, I have no eyebrows. <laughs> So once that bit's covered up, I'm just applying um, some more concealer around my eyelids and with a damp sponge. And then I'm going to be deciding on the angle of my brow. So the slant I went with is my natural slant from the beginning of my eyebrow. And I'm applying it with an angle brush and a darker brown eyeshadow. And just build the eyebrow bits at a time. I know it took me I don't know, a couple times to try to get it right because, you know, I don't normally draw in my brows like Spock. <laughs> so yeah, just keep checking for symmetry and once it's all filled in, um, I was applying it on with two different colors. One with like a lighter uh, gel eyeliner and then I went in with a darker eyeshadow just to create a little bit more dimension in the ends. But they look all right. I mean, it took me forever to do it, but anyway. So once the brows are done, I'm applying a matte shadow um, just around, just under the brow bone and in the inner corners. I normally wouldn't use such a light shadow for my everyday look, but for Harper's Bazaar China, I'll do whatever they want me to. <laughs> so across the entire eyelid, I'm just doing a wash of like a medium matte brown with a blending brush and also take note I'm doing this entire eye makeup look with one eyeshadow brush I like to keep things really really simple because I'm really lazy so now um, once the wash of color is done I'm adding a darker matte brown in the inner corners of the eyes as well as the outer corners and the reason why I'm keeping the middle portion of my eyelid uh, bare is because it gives the illusion that your eye is a bit more curved and like it's popping out a bit more. And um, my natural eye shape, you know, I don't have like deep set eyes or anything like that. So I need to really play up the illusion of shading. So if you feel that your eye shape doesn't need this, you, you don't have to, you don't have to over, overly shade it. So don't forget to add some of the shadows on the bottom lash line as well as on the top and inner and outer corners. Um, and once that's done, I'm going to, I think I'm applying a little bit of a darker shade here. I've used at least, I think I used like two, yeah, I used two dark eyeshadows. And then now I'm applying the highlighter in the inner corners of my eyes with my finger. And the reason why I'm using my finger for the frostier colors is because I want the pigment to show up really intensely. I don't know if you guys notice when you try to apply a really intense metallic pigment with a fluffy brush, it doesn't go on as intense. 
So fingers, they're awesome. Then I'm gonna align my waterline with a flesh tone um, pencil. This one is actually a lip liner, but I'm using it as my eyeliner. And then the top part of my waterline, I'm applying a water resistant black eye coal just to create a little bit more definition on the top lash line. And just be really careful when you do this, don't stab your eye. Now, the eyeliner. She has a, Rihanna has a really intense cat eye in this uh, shoot. And take your time with this step. Like, I normally do a cat eye when I do do my makeup. But this one I was like, okay, <laughs> gotta make sure I'm really careful with it. So first, um, I, what I find is the easiest is applying the liner across the eyelid or like the lash line, sorry not eyelid, the lash line first. Then determining the angle and the length of the flick. Once you have those two determined, you can start filling it in bits at a time and then start building your cat eye to the intensity that you'd like to have it. Now with the brows, because I found the shade was a little, little bit, bleh, I found the shade was a little bit too dark. I went over my brows with a tinted brow gel, and this one actually lightens them up instead of darkening them. It lightens them up a bit. So now that the mess is all done, I'm cleaning away any potential fallout that came that probably would have fallen on my cheek. I'm re-moisturizing my face, and then I'm applying uh, my foundation, which is like a foundation concealer, it's by Cinema Secrets, with a damp sponge. And thank baby Jesus for foundation, because it's basically photoshopping my face, which is awesome. The winter has been really unforgiving on my skin, like it got so discolored, and I also eat a lot of junk food, so. <laughs> my skin isn't that great, but I always moisturize, that's good. Anyway. Once my foundation is applied all over, now I'm adding a lighter concealer, maybe like a shade or two lighter than my skin tone, under my eyes and the bridge of my nose and any parts of the face that you'd like to highlight. And I'm applying this still with a damp beauty blender just because it melts the foundation into the skin. It doesn't, in person, it doesn't make it look like there's too much makeup sitting on your face. Once all that is done, set your base with Powder. Here I'm using a powder puff because I really want to make sure it's super matte and it's super set. Now I'm going to contour and um, I wasn't blessed with a Rihanna bone structure so <laughs> I'm etching that all in with an angled blush brush and I'm contouring a little bit of my nose and I kind of ex extend it into my eyeshadow. So the inner corner of the eyeshadow and my con nose contour kind of like connect a little bit and just do a little bit of the temples for dimension and now I am adding on bronzer to warm up my skin. Um, I was gonna say little but I'm like no, to warm up my skin a lot. This bitch needs bronzer. And just make sure you really buff it into the hairline. Like I went hammer. Ooh, and there's that sponge again. I'm using it as an eraser. That's another trip, a uh, trip, another trick <laughs> you can use is using foundation and a sponge as an eraser to clean things up. And yeah, so I continue with the bronzer just down my jawline and my neckline to make it look like my face is still a part of my body. And this y'all know, clear lashes, try not to, uh, try not to pinch your eyelid as you're doing this. And then for mascara, I did my bottom lashes first because I wanted them to be dry by the time I did my top lashes, that makes any sense? Because if you did your top lashes first and then your bottom, then your top lashes top touch your eyelid and then it makes this huge mess, if that makes sense. Now I'm applying a full set of Luscious Lashes. Um, these ones I love, they're from MAC. They're like the number 35, I think. Super spidery, but like the perfect amount of spidery lashes. And just make sure you don't get glue in your finger because it that's what happened with me. It got the glue got stuck on my finger and pulled my lashes out. And then we are basically almost finished. I am applying a dark um, long lasting 
lip liner in a, um, uh, a dark brown to contour my lips and uh, basically we are doing an ombre and I don't know why I felt like being a French bootleg French person for a second but yeah outline the edges blend them in a little bit but don't blend it in completely into the center of the lip and then once all that is finished then we're gonna apply the lipstick but this part's really important the blending make sure you know take your time with the blending and then we're gonna apply a matte red lipstick on top this one has like a blue base you'll find Rihanna wears a lot of blue base reds and um, yeah once that's applied uh, I go over the contouring again, I just blend a little bit more and then if you feel you need um, more shading then go, feel free to go over it with a pencil or if not you can just leave it. I was like give me more contour. But that's basically it. And um, yeah, hope you enjoyed that. I don't know if you guys were checking my channel last week but I basically put up a lip syncing uh, video of Rihanna's bitch but have my money and it got taken down within 24 hours. So this is a clip of it with no audio. I'm so sorry. You'll never see the internet, but if you guys want to see it, I'll probably upload it on my Instagram or something. Music by Interstellar. Get with it. Follow the homies. Leave a comment below. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter. Subscribe. All that good stuff. I'll see you later.